Hey guys, I'm here at Jakarta, Indonesia and yesterday I just came from the awesome live event by Samsung. Blackpink was there and they are amazing. Of course, we were able to try out the latest smartphones from Samsung too, like the Galaxy A51 and the Galaxy A71 and thankfully we got here the Samsung Galaxy A71. It's the latest mid-range smartphone from Samsung and we, uh, we got here a quad camera lens at the back and of course an amazing 6.7 inch super AMOLED display. It's a flat display, nothing wrong about that but the colors are really popping out and uh, yeah, it's really good. So um, they focus on, uh, I think, Awesome, awesome screen, awesome camera, long lasting battery life. Three things awesome screen, awesome ba camera, and an uh, long lasting battery life. But we're gonna focus on just two the uh, display of the smartphone and also the battery. Well, the battery is a 4,500 mAh of battery, and we're using the pre production unit. We cannot benchmark this device, unfortunately, uh, because again, it's a pre production unit. But we were able to um, install some games. We're allowed to play some games on this one. However, we're not able, we can't do a game, be game bench test on the Galaxy A71. But today, I'm gonna show you some of the games that I was able to run on the Galaxy A71, including PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile. NBA 2K20 and the latest one, the Black Desert Mobile. So yeah, first things first. Let's focus on the essential things on gaming on this one. First, we got here an Infinity O display. It's a super AMOLED display. I like looking at it. The colors are really nice. It's an Infinity O display. That's why we do have a little punch hole at the top. Actually, it doesn't annoy me. Just like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in which we've reviewed before. The display is massive. It's a 6.7 inch display. It's a super AMOLED panel. The colors are really nice. And yeah, the viewing angles are fine. It's a 20 by 9 display aspect ratio. That's why the smartphone is kind of narrow and it's very tall. But I prefer it when playing games such as Call of Duty Mobile and also uh, PUBG Mobile. So what are we waiting for? Let's do a gaming test on the smartphone. Let's see the graphic settings and let's play some games. Our first game is PUBG Mobile and uh, let's see the graphic settings that we're using on the smartphone. So yeah, uh, we're running it at balance settings with an ultra frame rate because at HD, the maximum frame rate is already at high. And yeah, uh, unfortunately you cannot use the HDR settings. So we're gonna focus on uh, balance settings with ultra frame rate so we can have better frame rates on the smartphone. Also let's enable the anti-aliasing and also the shadows of the smartphone. And let's try to play some game on the smartphone. Um, again, we do not have a benchmarking tool, but right now, I think we're getting at above 30 frames per second, which is already fine for me. I mean, um, having a better frame rate on PUBG Mobile is more essential than having a better graphics. Because with better frame rates, I could get more kills, I could easily aim at my enemies, and yes, I could easily, you know, um, get that chicken dinner on the Samsung Galaxy A71. Overall, um, we're seeing, I think... It's around 30 to 40 frames per second, but I think this is around 40 frames per second. So it's the maximum frame rate that we can get at, uh, at the ultra settings of PUBG Mobile. All right, so we're in the plane right now. And yes, we're doing fine just now. So yeah, I do not have a problem with it. And oh, I'm going to unfollow. So in the plane right now, still at 40 frames per second. Let's see if we drop at the military base. If, first, if we can get that you know, that same frame rate that we can expect on the smartphone. Okay, so far so good. No uh, noticeable frame lags or frame drops on the Samsung Galaxy A71. But let's see. Let's see, boys. We're dropping here at the military base and let's see if we could get some kills and of course, get some decent frames on the smartphone. Overall, as you can see, we're looting right now the military base and everything looks fine look there's no frame drops and yeah i could easily kill some enemies with this one really fine now let's find some enemies oh there we go oh as you can see there were no frame drops on the smartphone and everything was fine everything was fine 
we got some gunshots over there. I think we're gonna end up dead in a few seconds. So there we go. Um, overall, the lot of um, renders in here, but we're still getting fine frames on the smartphone. I think the Snapdragon 730 of the smartphone can handle the Galaxy A70 just fine. Ah! Okay, we're dead. Okay, we're dead. But as you can see, with PUBG Mobile on the Samsung Galaxy A70, we can run it at balance settings with anti-aliasing, with shadows on, and at ultra frame rate, and you, do, will, you will not have any problems running the smartphone. It will do just fine. So we're running NBA 2K20 at uh, the highest settings possible, all ultra high, all high, so no problems when it comes to uh, the settings of the smartphone. The smartphone will do just fine, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, we're playing the game right now, and I'm pretty sure that the Galaxy A71, oh, that's a bad shot. The Galaxy A71 is running the game at around uh, more than 40 frames or probably 60, even 60, I think. This one is very smooth. Um, that's not locked at 30 frames per second. So the 730 processor or the chipset of the uh, Galaxy A71 will do just fine on NBA 2K20. Okay, so as you can see, there are no lags, no frame drops, and everything was fine on the smartphone. Oh, we got a bad shot on that one, but yeah, I really get bad shots on, uh, on NBA 2K20. But as you can see, no problems at all when it comes to gaming on uh, A71, like this one, NBA 2K20. There we go, let's try some to do some shots. I don't know why I did that one, but it sucked. There we go, even at close-up shots, it's still very smooth. There we go. Pass it on to... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Finally, we, did, we were able to make a field goal. But yeah, overall, you can see here that NBA 2K20 runs really fine on the A71. No problems when it, no problem when it comes to gaming. So yeah, let's proceed to our next game. First of all, my character at uh, Black Desert Mobile looks pretty good. Yes, we're playing Black Desert Mobile, one of the best games on mobile right now due to its graphics. As you can see here, really nice lighting, really nice details, and the colors are really fine on the smartphone. As you can see, I love the colors on this one, on the Galaxy A71. All right, now let's proceed to the graphic settings. Let's see here. So I was able to pump it up at the high settings with the maximum frame limit. So if we've set this one up at the maximum settings, um, you can see here that, oh, actually no. Okay, we're getting good frame rates on the smartphone. As you can see, really nice graphics, all max settings. Unfortunately, we cannot benchmark this one, but the Black Desert Mobile runs really well on the smartphone. As you can see now, let's do some action and some damage on these um, monsters. And wow, as you can see, I think there were no frame drops on this one. I'm not sure if this one is getting around 40 frames per second, but overall, this one has a... Um, pretty good frame rates. It's more than 30 frames per second. The action is really fine. The effects are really good. And despite that, the Galaxy A71 doesn't have a problem running Black Desert Mobile. And yeah. So there we go. Let's see. Let's do some skills in here. So uh, now let's gather some mobs. So you can see no frame drops. And everything was really fine. All right. Everything was really fine on the smartphone. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I didn't know. I, I have already another skill right now. But yeah, you can see here that no problems at all when it comes to the skills. Everything is really fine. And there we go. Riding on my horse right now. And as you can see, no lags at all. No frame drops. Everything was really fine on Black Desert Mobile on the Galaxy A71. And oh my god, look at that. Oh, there we go. Look at the graphics. Look at the graphics on this one. Really nice lighting, max set, maximum settings on the Galaxy A71. And I didn't have a single problem running the smartphone. Look at that one. Wow. The Galaxy A71 runs just fine on the Galaxy A71. The, oh, sorry, sorry, the Black Desert Mobile runs really fine on the Galaxy A71. I'm still amazed with the graphics on this one. I love playing this game. Now, let's proceed to another game and let's see how Call of Duty Mobile will do uh, with the Samsung Galaxy A70. So right now we're playing Call of Duty Mobile. 
graphic settings as you can see here we cannot set it at very high because the maximum frame rate is only available at high settings um, the depth of field is on there's no bloom there's real-time shadows there's ragdoll and there's anti-aliasing on this game so let's do some multiplayer um match on the uh, galaxy a71 and let's see what we can experience on the smartphone okay so right now i think oh, okay so this is more than 30 frames per second we got max frame rates i think this is one is even 60 frames per second so i won't have any problems with this one and since we got here a wide uh display because of the 20 by 9 display aspect ratio i have more viewing um i have i can view the display even more i mean look at that one the uh, fingers doesn't block too much of the display i can see the enemies uh better than most smartphones now let's wait for the match to start the match has started and let's see if we can if we can get some really nice um, experience on call of duty mobile on galaxy a71 so let's see here let's throw some grenades over here oh that's a terrible throw oh okay there we go oh wow this is really nice this is actually fine Oh wow, okay, I just made a triple kill. And look at the oh there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a really fine smartphone for Call of Duty Mobile. The frames are really fast and the display is really responsive. Okay. The display is really responsive on the Galaxy A71. Oh my god, they're they're terrible. Oh my god, my enemies are terrible. So yeah, um overall as you can see here. The Galaxy A71 easily decimates uh, Call of Duty Mobile. It's a very optimized game. The graphics are really nice. And yeah, I do not have any problems playing this game at all. Alright. Do not have um, problems playing this game at all. Imagine, I could easily kill my enemies with this one. Since we got a wide display, I could see them easily. Um, I have an advantage actually when I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile on the smartphone. Yeah, where are the enemies? So yeah, I guess um, Call of Duty Mobile will do just fine on the uh, Galaxy A71. So you can see really nice frames, no problems at all. So yeah, I guess that's it. All right, inabot tayo ng gabi playing games like Call of Duty Mobile on the Samsung Galaxy A71. But overall, um, our experience with the Galaxy A71 was fine. Snapdragon 730 along with that 8 gigs of RAM will do just fine on this smartphone however in like games like PUBG Mobile you need to tone down the settings in able to you know get that ultra frame rates unfortunately there's no extreme frame rates on uh, PUBG Mobile and also at uh, Call of Duty Mobile we weren't able to max out the settings and get the maximum frame rate but I think having you know the high settings maximum frame rate and also on PUBG Mobile balance settings with anti-aliasing on and shadows on and get that ultra frame rate i think it will do just fine i'm actually surprised that this one can handle black desert mobile without any problems so if you're playing any games on the samsung galaxy a71 i think this one wouldn't have a problem this is future proof however don't expect the maximum settings on these games on these future games but again the a71 will do just fine and the thing with snapdragon processor is that they're compatible with most games and applications most of the time um, they do not have problems with emulators and also games. I haven't tried PST emulators on this one, but I think this will do just fine when you're playing games such as PSP emulator, uh, the PPSSPP, um, and other games. I think this will do just fine. So yeah, I guess that's it for our video of the Samsung Galaxy A71. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now's the time to subscribe. So once again, I am jumpjumonline.ph. Thank you for watching. And see you guys again on my next video.